Okay, this is a screencast on how to do a, the spreadsheet for the data that we got from our magnet lab. And what you'll see here is all the different lab groups. We had a total of 12 of them that got their data in at the time of this video. So we'll use that data for our lab write-up. There's two data tables. There's one where you collected it using the spring scales, and that's in the top data table. And then there's the data collected using the Vernier force sensor, which is in the bottom table. Now, everything I do in the top table, you will need to do in the bottom table. You'll just have to do it twice. First off, you need to calculate the average of each one of the lab groups. So we'll click on the average force cell. We'll go over to the functions button, functions average, and we will select all of the cells that we want to average, which is 1 through 12. Hit the enter button and it will calculate the average for you. Now once you've done that, you can click on that cell. There's a little blue square you're going to highlight over it until there's a plus sign and then drag it down and it will then calculate the average for all of the other cells. Now in order to look at this, we're going to go ahead. There's no reason to have this big of a value. So we'll decrease that down to the hundreds place and that is what you'll end up with. After you do that, we need to calculate the distance in millimeters um, that the magnet was away from the metal. Now, a number of cards is not a very scientific measurement, so we're going to convert that into millimeters. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to tell this cell to do a calculation, which means we're going to hit the equal sign. And each one of the cards has a distance of 0 0.1725 millimeters. And I'll show you in class how we, we're going to get that value. And you're going to multiply it. The multiply symbol is uh, shift 8, which is the asterisk. And you're going to multiply, since there, each card is that um, width, then you're going to multiply it by the number of cards. So in this case, you're going to multiply it by this cell, A5. When you hit that, it'll give you the distance in millimeters. Once again, we're going to have it do those calculations for us all the way. So just like with the average, we go to the blue square, drag down, and this gives us the distance in millimeters. So you can see that when we had two cards, it was only 0.345 millimeters away. Um, and then when we had no cards, obviously there was no distance between them. And there's the other values. Now, once you get this data, the distance and the average, now we're ready for what we want to graph because all of this information, right, this is the raw data and we're just dealing, we want to worry about the totals. So the distance and the average. Since distance is our independent variable and average force in newtons is our dependent variable, we'll want to highlight both of these columns. We'll go to the graph button, which is insert chart. When we do that, we're going to go to chart types. We want to pick the line with a smooth line like this. Um, and we're going to need to pick use column B as labels. And when we do that, that gives us a graph that should look like what we want. Now, once you have that basic thing put down, you can go to the customization. On customization, you're going to need to title it the effect of the IV on the DV. You're going to need to um, label the distance and notice it's in millimeters so that's already taken care uh, taken is done for you which is nice um, the units are in parentheses and then the force in newtons 
is going to be our dependent variable, and that's going to be on the y-axis, and that's already labeled for us, which is nice. So you'll just need to change the title. Um, since we only have one line, there's no need for a legend. So we go down and search for where the legend is. Um, ah, here we go, legend, and we're going to hit none and that will remove that. And once you've changed the title, uh, that should be what you need right there. We're gonna hit insert. That'll come into our graph. We'll be put here right in, in front of our data. We don't like that, so we're gonna hit this down arrow and we're gonna move it to its own sheet. And that's gonna create a chart on its own and then when you want to go to the data, you'll hit sheet one. And then in this case, chart two, I'm not sure. I guess I had created a chart earlier. I'm going to go ahead and delete that chart. So now we have sheet one and in this case, chart two. And that's what we need to do. Now what you'll need to do is do the same thing. Um, however, you'll need to do it for the data using the vernier force sensor and that will end up when you're finished you'll end up having sheet one chart one and chart two and that takes care of what you need to do to make uh, your graph of your spreadsheet